I have to get past those vines somehow. Alka. The way is clear. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Gjallarhorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Hello! How lucky! I... The tree has become rather... overgrown. And? And, if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal, considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh... Don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am in fact not Here's chicken like what whatsoever. So as you can see, I have no Yes, but what a rambunctious bunch. <sighs> About Nithog, you should know, we had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. Now keep up the good work, bringing those lean worms home. Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Red.
Lots left to explore in that crater, I bet. There are still a few loose ends to tie up. See, the warriors still haunt the crater. We could put them to rest. And... Enough. I remember. capture Garm in the first place. That was Tears doing. He lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. I saw Durlin again, too. After we forged the spear, Odin appeared. He had Durlin with him, threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, she was hoping that to go much further, we'll be right on top of the ogre. Better be sure we're ready. We fight! Yeah, I got that!
That was ours, you opportunistic sod. It went back to its perch. Let's go after it. see his face again. I'll give him this gift and tell him about the brave people who helped me. Now you can help us. What did you see that day? I was at the meat hall. Thor was there. He had a strange drinking companion. Some sort of creature, the likes of which I'd never seen. It had this barrel of meat that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing? Getting blind drunk from the looks of it. They were passing drinks around, roughly. Everyone had a temple too many, but Thor, he was by far the drunkest of any man there that day. Mumir, what do you make of this? Thor has always loved a strong drink with questionable company, but I've never heard any word of his future companion. This isn't a lot to go on, I'm afraid. Well, we know one thing. Thor was totally drunk when the valley was destroyed. There's still much we do not know. And whether your mother was involved remains unclear. Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, Stan. Can we go already? That's right, we got more food at home. Come on! I have to say, quite a nice change of pace helping these stags get home. For a moment, I was worried we'd have to kill them. Yes. You had a plan to kill it if it had attacked, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> So this is where those tracks lay. Drake fed here. The creatures here aren't that big. Drake must have been constantly eating to survive out here. Ah, some sort of cage. 
so it would seem. Another one of those mysterious crystals. Lad, am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, it was great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind Another spot Another time. We must focus. Back to my story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Not now. Lovely. Now you can open <laughs> that gate without that ogre hurling detritus at it. Hmm? 
Time of rebirth, renewal. Oh, I've missed the smell of those flowers. I'm sorry, kid. Just come back already. Mm. Halfway there by Septimus. I do not like you. I get that a lot. Two down, halfway there. one of Devalin's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves. So he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the Allfather found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. Look at that. Fancy a dip for them? <laughs> ah, another crystal. Best hold on to it until we can figure out what to do with it. to us destroying that crystal? It would appear. The lands of Vanaheim are certainly more alive than those in other realms. Perhaps it's glad you got rid of that crystal. Huh. Seems like the pawn still wants something. What if you threw a crystal in? It worked! Look! It gave us a gift in return. Oh, wow. That equipment will prove useful. And crystal shards. I bet we'll get a reward for any we return to the pond. 
That's handy. Good thing we collected all those crystals in the first place, eh? Legendary weapon. You have a favor, Father? No. They are tools for specific tasks. A preference would be meaningless. I like the axe. I too like the axe. <laughs> Back to my story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. That's enough for the time being. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 